All right, so this is one for the books. We have some guy decided. He's gonna go to the party, all right? To a party, there's a party. He's gonna go to it. Everyone likes parties. He goes to the party, right? Now things get a little haywire. He brings himself a bulletproof vest. Okay, so he puts on the bulletproof vest at the party. One thing you don't do at a party is put on a bulletproof vest. Why not, you might ask? Because you have a bunch of raging drunks at a party, and when something like, when you put on a bulletproof uh, vest, people's judgments are really low. So they're going to see the bulletproof vest, and a drunk's going to see it and be like, Oh, that's a bulletproof vest. Let me see what happens if I shoot him with my gun. Lo and behold, some guy did this. He got shot and killed at a party. Because he was dumb. Who brings a bulletproof vest to a party for crying out loud? Not a wise move. Not a wise move. And I'm sure, I'm sure the guy shot him from like two feet away or something like that. Let's see if it actually works. Boom! Probably not that guy from here. To, you know, knock that guy down. He was done, dead. He died. Because he wasn't using his brain. Golly. I come home from work today. I'm like, what should I talk about? And I check my notifications. And lo and behold, here this dimwit is appearing in my notification box. Man shot and killed. I was like, oh, let me see. Tap on that. Well, no wonder. No wonder. You actually surprised something like that? I don't know who's surprised. Please raise your hand. Who's surprised that this actually happened? <sighs> like some guy I read about the other day. Sprayed himself with uh, some kind of cologne or something like that. Then lit himself up a cigarette and his whole car went up in flames. Because, you know, <laughs> hate to break the news to you. But there's actually, actually, there's more things in gasoline that are flammable, all right? Golly. And this guy, this guy who, but this guy who got shot and killed. You just, you just don't bring it, no, you don't bring a gun to a party. You don't bring a knife to a party. There's just certain things you don't bring to a party. Especially like these guys were obviously having. These guys had about three tequilas too many. Pretty obvious. Things were getting a little haywire. As soon as someone puts on a bulletproof vest, hoo hoo, wait, what's going on here? What's going on? Someone puts on a bulletproof vest at a party, it's like, whoa, what just happened? The party just got turned up a notch. That, th this thing, it is not, is, it is, I'm trying to get you all to understand this. This guy, just, this guy's brain wasn't working, alright? You don't go to a party, put on a bulletproof vest, not a brilliant idea. Not a, not a good idea. Alright? You've got to figure this out, oh my goodness. And this guy, he's dead now. He's dead now. And don't you even dare, any of you news companies or your media outlets, even blame guns for this. This, they try to say, the, when guns are involved. No, it's called to win. There's two things involved in this situation. Alcohol, which was the number one problem in this situation. And number two, a group of halfwits get together. Who puts one up? I'm trying to figure it out. Please, someone comment in the section below. I'm, by the way, I'm going to have the description, uh, the, uh, the link in the description below. Uh, the link in the description below. So you guys can see for yourself. What's wrong with these people? Alright? Th this is uncalled for. Uncalled for. Do you think I wanted to come home and watch and see this on my notifications? No! But now I have to talk about it. I didn't really want to have to talk about it. I had another uh, story I wanted to talk about. I'll save that one for tomorrow. And boy, is that a good one too! Um, you, you could only imagine. You can only imagine some of the weird things happening around in the United States of America. There's some weird things happening around. Not just here, overseas too. Overseas too? I was like, what's going on over here now?
people shooting, themse uh, shooting themselves and stuff like that in front of the White House. What is happening, folks? We're gonna blame guns. Yeah, that's sure the issue. Well, okay, a list of five things we need to ban, all right? A list of five things we need to ban. Let's start off with, uh, there's a few hu humans that need banned, all right? Then, then we have a baseball bat, because they can be used as a weapon, right? You can crack someone right over the head with that, they're out. Okay, then you've got, yeah, number three, what, what, what if you get, oh, oh, let's get, a, get rid of a uh, bow and arrow. You can really, I mean, if you really don't go down the list, you can hurt anybody with anything, if you're desperate enough. But guns are the le should be the least of your worries. Guns should be the least of your worries. If you're going to have someone pull out a bulletproof vest and put it on while they're halfway drunk, and then some guy shoot him in the chest with it or wherever he shot it, you guys have made a big problem. I'm surprised he was able to hit, hit his target drunk. Wow. Must be a good aim. Alright. That's all I've got to say. That's all I have to say today. Please like and subscribe and I'm out.